This might be the most useful and important analytics tool out there. And welcome back to another episode of Justin Day Digital for your weekly dose of marketing tips and tricks. Before we get started, make sure to smash that subscribe button and do me a favor and like the video. Okay, let's do this. Standing out online amongst a sea of competitors is becoming more and more challenging. That is why it is essential that you continually improve your digital presence to drive prospects to your website. You can do so by analyzing your current site's performance and optimizing accordingly. Google Search Console is a free tool that helps provide valuable insights to your site that can help you do this. Google offers its free web service, Google Search Console, to help website owners understand how the search engine is handling and indexing their website. It provides them with one simple dashboard that allows them to monitor their website performance in Google search results, troubleshoot issues that can threaten their search engine ranking, and improve their visibility, plus much more. While it may not be as popular, it's just as important to owners as Google My Business. If you're a website owner thinking of signing up for GCS, analytics tools, here is what you can do with them. You can confirm that Google can find specific content on your website. You can audit your content, boost your website visibility on Google search, get alerted in case of any issues on your website, confirm page appearance to Google bots, learn what brings you the most traffic, view how your pages rank in Google's index, discover what needs to be optimized, get notified about any indexing or spam issues on your site. The overview tab is the first thing you see in Google Search Console. It provides you an overview of the most important data, including the following. Search performance coverage. How many URLs are in Google's index? Experience, including mobile usability, page experience, and core web vitals. Enhancements like FAQ, products, search links, and more. While you can inspect any URL on your website through the search box, this tool should only be used every now and then as an incorrect URL parameters can negatively impact the way your website is crawled by the search engine. This tab gives you an option between search results and discover to let you know how you're performing on Google search rankings. You can assess clicks, impressions, average CTR, click through rate, and the average positions in the rankings. You can also see the sources that generate the most traffic, including pages, countries, top queries, devices, and more. This helps you understand which of your landing pages convert the most successfully. The index tab lets you view your coverage, sitemaps, and removals. Let's go through those. Coverage. You'll see a report that shows you how your website is processed by Google. This includes any page errors that are potentially preventing you from achieving higher rankings from your search engine. You'll be able to view valid website pages, pages with warnings, pages that are excluded from Google's index, sitemaps. This tab allows you to view manage and submit new sitemaps. Submitting a sitemap through Google Search Console will speed up your discovery process, which will help your content rank faster on Google. It allows you to keep track of any content related information and be alerted in case there are any issues. Removals. Here, you can submit a request to remove any content from Google Search, as well as the following. Temporary removals, outdated content, and safe search filtering. The Experience tab lets you access the following. Page Experience. This provides you with a percentage 
and total impressions that let you know if your website pages provide your audience with a positive, safe, and secure experience. Core Web Vitals. This report uses real-world data to provide mobile and desktop stats of your site performance. Mobile Usability. It's important that your websites are mobile user friendly. If they are not, it will negatively affect your mobile rankings and push your content lower on Google's search rankings. In short, mobile usability lets you know if there are any usability problems on your websites when viewed on a mobile device. It highlights specific website pages that are and aren't mobile friendly in terms of viewport settings, text size, and the proximity of clickable elements. Once you find any mobile usability issues, you can quickly fix them to avoid being demoted on Google search rankings. The Enhancement tab has the following sections that you need to stay on top of. Breadcrumbs. Understand which rich results found by Google on your property. Products. Check the rich results found on your property and uncover if Google can read them. Review snippets. Gain a better understanding of the rich results found on your property and how Google reads them. Unparsable structured data. These structured data items have fundamental syntax errors, meaning Google couldn't parse or understand them. Backlinks are essential to ranking on Google. That's why the Links tab in Google Search Console is so important and one to watch out for. It can help you improve your website and as a result, your rankings. The Search Console has a Links tab that allows you to gain better understanding of your website's backlinks. It allows you to see the domains that link to your content the most, as well as the website pages that have the most links. You can also use this tab to see what anchor text the website uses. In addition, you can view any internal links, including how many there are, the top links, top linking sites, and the top linking text, and much more. By scrolling to the tab on the left hand side of the page, you can generate a full report with all the data concerning your internal and external website links. This tab provides you with an overview of any security issues and manual actions. Security issues. If your website has experienced any security issues, you will find them displayed in this tab. It also shows that the following could harm your user's device. First up, malware. Next, unwanted software. Deceptive pages, harmful downloads, code injection, content injection, and lastly, URL injection. Next up, manual actions. If you have any manual actions that was taken against one of your sites, you will see it in this tab. In the best case, you won't see anything displayed here. Some of these could include, your site has been hacked. If your site was hacked by a third party, Google will not notify you. This can lead to lower search rankings for sure. Unnatural or bot links. You should have high quality sites linking to your website, meaning it should be related to your content and topics, which makes your links valuable to your readers. Cloaking content. Cloaking refers to intentionally displaying different content to your website audience than what you show to Google. Google can notice this if you hide something from it through redirects, hidden affiliate URLs, and more. Spam. Here, you will also be notified if Google finds spammy structured markup like rich snippets that use irrelevant elements on your website. Page speed. Here, you can view the metrics pertaining to your page speed on different devices. It allows you to identify and to fix slow loading pages to improve your overall user experience. AMP, Accelerated Mobile Pages. Although this tool isn't used much in Google Search Console, it can be very helpful. It allows you to check whether the AMP pages you created are properly configured to appear in the search results rich results. Enhancements. Here you can preview how, your, how many pages will be displayed in Google Search when you add structured data markups. 
Hopefully by now you understand why Google Search Console is so important to your website and business success. Since the tool is free, you have nothing to lose by using it. Not only will you help gain so much insights on, on how to optimize your website performance, but you will also learn how to rank better and be more visible. All right, that's all for this week's episode. I'll see you in the next one.